and a half decades of teaching experience and more than two decades of training experience and with a wide exposure on working on academic systems and building academic systems, I am very happy to talk on outcome based education in this video which will help the people to implement outcome based education in their respective field and organizations. In this video, I am very happy to talk about one of the most important topics in outcome based education which is assessment and evaluation. See these two terms are totally different and we have to understand what it is. First let us look at what is assessment. What is the main purpose of outcome based education? Finally what we are going to uh, what we are targeting at, we are targeting at finding out to what extent for a particular program the specified program outcomes and program specific outcomes are being achieved. So this is the target. Now the entire philosophy of outcome based education finally is targeting at to what extent program outcomes and program specific outcomes are being achieved. Finally, these will lead to the achievement of program educational objectives. So we have to find or quantify it and we have to calculate and tell this is the number. In this, there are two processes. The first one is assessment and the second one is evaluation. Both are processes. Now what is assessment we look at? Assessment is all those processes which an institution is going to use in order to identify and collect data which will be finally used for evaluating to what extent the program outcomes are being achieved. So assessment is only a process of collecting data. Now after the data is being collected we have to do something with that particular data. There comes evaluation and what is evaluation? Evaluation are the processes which are being used in order to interpret the data which has been collected in the previous stage. What is the previous stage? Assessment stage. So whatever data which has been collected, if you are going to interpret it and if you are going to quantify and tell this is the extent to which the program outcome has been achieved or a program specific outcome has been achieved, then that is the meaning of evaluation. So assessment is collection of data, evaluation is interpreting that data and doing whatsoever you want with that data and finally telling that this is the extent to which a program outcome has been achieved. And finally, if you are able to specify to this extent the program outcome has been achieved, that will pave the path to take decisions related to sustaining certain efforts or taking some corrective measure in order to see that the program outcomes are being achieved in a better manner. This is what is the meaning of assessment and evaluation which are two different important terminologies in outcome based education philosophy. Now let us understand the difference between direct assessment and indirect assessment. As I already told you assessment means all that which is being done to collect information in order to Evaluate and find to what extent something is being achieved. Now direct means my student is there in the institution and that student is undergoing a course and if I am able to conduct a test or an exam or let us say give an assignment and collect a certain information then that becomes direct assessment. Indirect assessment means my student has completed the course. And the, at the end of the semester, whatever I had to teach for a course, I have already completed. Then I have to collect information on to what extent certain learnings have happened. Now, if I am going to do that with a survey, then that becomes indirect assessment. 
So direct assessment means directly I am going to give something to the student, ask him to work on certain things and collect data. Indirect assessment means the student has completed the course or completed the program itself and after that if I want some data then I have to design a questionnaire and conduct it as a survey, collect information, I am sorry, collect data then automatically that, that is what is called as indirect assessment. decide the direct and indirect assessment methods which are supposed to be used for assessing course outcomes. Whenever a course is being handled, the faculty has to give certain kind of works or certain kind of things have to be conducted in order to collect data and that data has to be used for evaluating the extent to which the course outcomes are being achieved. Now, you can see what has been shown in blue. These are the direct assessment methods which are being used for assessing course outcomes. In general, assignments are being given, projects are being given, internal tests are being conducted, end semester examinations are being conducted. All these things are the direct measurement methods which are used to collect data in order to assess, in order to evaluate the value of course outcomes. So, th these are the direct methods which are to be used for assessing course outcomes. The indirect method which has to be used for assessing course outcomes you can see is the course end survey. Course end survey, it is a survey that is after the course is being completed fully, a survey form will be given and the survey form will have questions related to the course outcomes and the student will be asked to rate, let us say on a 5 point Likert scale maybe. To what extent do you think that by undergoing this particular course, you have achieved the course outcome 1, course outcome 2, etc. till course outcome 6, then automatically that becomes an indirect assessment method for assessing the course outcomes because it is a survey. So these are the methods which are used for assessing the course outcomes. Now let us look at what are the methods which are supposed to be used that is the indirect assessment methods that are to be used to assess program outcomes. Now first we have to see whether direct methods can be used for assessing program outcomes. Program outcomes cannot be assessed using direct methods because only after a student is going to complete the course, the, I'm sorry, complete the program, an assessment on to what extent the program outcomes have been achieved can be assessed. Therefore, there is no question of direct assessment being used in program for assessing program outcomes. We can use only indirect assessment methods. That is only through surveys we can assess program outcomes. Generally, the first assessment method is called as program end survey or program exit survey. A questionnaire will be prepared and in that questionnaire what will be there? To what extent by undergoing this particular program, you think that you have gained knowledge, skill or attitude with respect to program outcome 1 program outcome 2 etc till program outcome 12. So 12 questions will be there. And if you have 2 to 4 PSOs accordingly another 2 to 4 questions related to that PSO will be present. So this can be used only at the end of the program. For example for an undergraduate engineering program after a student is going to undergo all the 8 semesters at the end of the 8th semester only, we can conduct this program exit survey. But 
a course and survey at the end of each and every semester when the course comes to a halt the course and survey can be conducted now the other indirect assessment tool for assessing the program outcome is alumni survey see anyone who has passed out out of a program the questionnaire the survey form can be given and that survey form also will contain only questions related to to what extent during their period of study the alumni feels that they have gained knowledge skill or attitude which has been prescribed as program outcome 1 to program outcome 12 and in addition to that the program specific outcomes are 2 to 4 so the questions in program and survey and alumni survey will be same but only thing is here it will be exercised on the alumni and it can be exercised usually on any person who has completed that program in the past 4 to 5 years that is what is usually done so alumni survey is another indirect assessment for assessing the program outcomes beyond this there are certain methods but it is very difficult to use them for example example we can use employer survey the same questions can be sent to employers but just think can see which employer has that amount of uh, time in order to fill all these things and send it to the institution therefore it is better that we collect information that is we collect data for assessing the program outcomes based on program and survey and alumni survey that is more than sufficient Now, we are coming to the final stage of this particular video where we are talking about using direct assessment and indirect assessment methods in order to collect data in order to assess the course outcomes and program outcomes. But finally, whether we are going to collect data related to a course or data related to a program, that is program outcomes or course outcomes, finally all these things combinedly all these things put together the target is the data is going to be used for calculating program outcomes that is it is going to be used for calculating program outcome 1 to program outcome 12 and the specified program specific outcomes which is going to vary between 2 and 4 so all this direct assessment and indirect assessment methods whatever it may be the data finally is going to be posted on a final table where it will be used for calculating program outcomes this is one important thing everyone should uh, actually look at because don't think that this is going to stand separate this is going to stand separate everything finally will contribute to the achievement of program outcomes in its own way